What can you see that all of the people who warn against coming uh, out with no deal can't see? I can see what they've got wrong before and why... I'm not that, asking about the past, I'm asking about the future. What can the, you the see that they a, can't see? The past is a very useful guide to the future because you can see why people are making the judgments. The CBI protects incumbent interests and therefore it always goes uh, for things that are not for the consumer interest but the producer interest. Yes, okay. The Governor of the Bank of England is a deeply politicised figure who has been anti-Brexit from the moment it was uh, proposed. What can I see? I can see the opportunities of cheaper food, clothing and footwear, helping most of all the but incomes of the least well off in our absolutely society. Absolutely nobody because agrees with you. we can cut you. tariffs, we can absolutely reduce costs to people. Absolutely nobody agrees with you. Even the Sun, even the sun newspaper withdrew these claims. It's wonderfully exciting. It's a it's great opportunity. Exciting. It is it's freedom great for the British people. It is no it's longer freedom. shackled to the failed economic model of the European Union, which has the Euro and high unemployment and even Germany going into recession. It is a wonderful opportunity for our nation. You should rejoice and be proud at what our hoping, country can do. I was do. hoping to have reasons for rejoicing at the end of this conversation. So I'll, I'll ask you one final time. The economic modelling that you rely upon has been discredited so badly that even the sun withdrew it. Why mm. do you persist? That's not true. Um, no? the, okay. the advice I take is from economists for free trade and Patrick Minford, who has the best track record of almost any forecaster you can find in this uh, country. Uh, and I was very interested to see in last week's uh, Sunday Times that David Smith, the economics editor, had done an analysis of the different uh, forecasts that had been made by the experts. And almost at the top of that list came the Office, office for Budget Responsibility, the OBR, which got 10 out of 10 on all the points that it had forecast for the year 2018. Second in that list came the much maligned CBI from the Brexit side, uh, who got 9 out of 10. And who was bottom of the list, just out of interest? One Patrick Minford from the Liverpool Research Group, founder member of Economist for Free Trade, who came 3 out of 10 for his forecast for 2008 and had a similar result in 2017. Patrick Minford, pa true. Patrick Minford, let me just write that down. Patrick Minford has the best reputation for economic well, forecasting. He, he got the exchange rate mechanism right, he got the euro right. His Pol record in this, in this field Gordon is Brown got the euro right. So Jacob Rees-Mogg is the gentleman that said, for Brexit to succeed, agriculture and industry will be decimated in this country. Be decimated but in he this said country. that and he's the man you're citing. That actually it will be an opportunity for us no, to no, be more no, competitive No, 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 we need to be clear. He's the so man you're citing and those you're, are his you're, words. You're taking one very selective right, quotation from him. He's actually okay. saying that it's a real economic opportunity Did, did he or did us. he not say that? And we'll get fast uh, did, did economic... He or did he not you've say that to, manufacturing got, industry and agriculture would be more or less destroyed? He, you've got is it not conceivable that what you're really talking about is essentially the collapse of the entire UK car industry? That when we leave the European Customs Union and go directly into competition with Asian car manufacturers, this transitional arrangements is, is just a polite way of describing the wiping out of the manufacturing industry. And how, how's that going to be explained to a public and a political class that are increasingly proud about the development of this kind of manufacturing industry in Britain? Well, I think that uh, it's perfectly true that if you remove protection of the sort that has been given in particular to the car industry and to other manufacturing industries inside the protective wall, you have got, uh, gonna, you're going to have a change in, in, in the situation facing that industry. And you, you are going to have to run it down. And it will be in your interest to do it, just in the same way that we ran down the coal industry and the steel industry. But what he said, uh, in the full context of the economic growth that we will Did he get. or did he not say that agriculture and industry would be destroyed? I think you, as I refer you to the answer I've just given, you're Well, I'd like a yes or a no. Did he or did he not say might, it? You might like all sorts of things, but you're, did he or did he not you're say quoting it? extraordinarily selectively so he from did somebody say it. who has forecast... So he said the, it. He has forecast correctly so on the exchange rate Jacob, mechanism, on, on the man. euro and the opportunities that come from cutting the barriers to trade which have worked Did in your every favorite country, economic forecaster explain which have, that agriculture and industry would be destroyed no, by brexit you're, you're, you're 
completely exaggerating a comment that uh, he made. So in, he did in, say in, in, it. In, in, so he did say it. What you're saying is inaccurate. Okay. You're, you're trying to spin something. That's my, when that's he me, points to, over. it is indeed, yes, oh, it's your reputation. Absolutely. But it's a it fine is. one and it makes good listening. Yes, so you're um, not going to answer the question. I've answered many of your questions. You have, but here's the last one. Did Patrick Minford, your economic forecaster uh, already, of choice... I've already answered that one. I've no, told you yes, you're, you're, so he did you're, say you're, you're, you're doing the classic thing of taking of something that selectively, a and out a question. Of, selectively and out of context to make a wrong point. Okay, so did he say it or not? I've just answered your question. I refer you to what I said a moment ago. Well, just remind my listeners, did he say it or not? They were paying more attention than you. Now, I heard you say that he'd been quoted, which would suggest he did say it, but you haven't answered my question I've except, answered, except obliquely. So no, the man I've, that you cite as an economic you're, forecaster you're, you're, to be trusted... You're so classically inaccurate. I've answered your question <sighs> merely not in the go way, I'm very not grateful in the way for your that you time. wanted well, me to. Well, no, I asked a question that admits a yes or no answer, and you haven't provided a yes or no answer, so we can at least end on a tone of agreement. You didn't answer the question in the way that I wanted to. And we both know why.